What's up, Familia? Miranda here, back with another movie haul. So today I have a few little random pickups from Amazon that I just threw onto an order, and I have a couple of packages from Facebook Marketplace. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right into this and see what I picked up. So first up, my Amazon pickups, you guys. Surprisingly, they're all DVDs. <laughs> um, first up, I picked this up because it was only like $374, I think. And um, it's a three leading ladies collection, which I don't know why they're calling that when they all feature Sandra Bullock. So this should just be a Sandra Bullock collection. Um, but we have 28 Days, The Net, and Premonition. I know for sure I've seen Premonition. I'm a, I love Sandra Bullock. She's a great actress, you guys. Um, I don't recall, though, if I've ever seen 28 Days or The Net. I'm going to have to go ahead and watch them and see if I remember anything. It's possible that I may have seen them, but it's probably just been so long. Um, but I've definitely seen Premonition. So, I mean, this is so inexpensive, you guys. Super happy to come across this. Next up, this is a double feature. Both of these are classic. I grew up watching these. I know hubby loves them too. And that is The Blue Lagoon and Return to the Blue Lagoon. I'm sure many of you have seen these already. Great films, you guys. So I was happy to pick this one up. Um, ones that I kind of had forgotten about, but I was happy to see that they had this double feature and it was like six bucks, you guys. So super inexpensive. Um, so happy to add this to the collection. Next up, I am a huge Tyler Perry fan. I, he's one of my favorite directors. I know he's not for everybody, but I really enjoy all the films that he makes. I love Medea, all that good stuff. And um, it's just, I feel like every single film that he's put out, I've cried in like every single one. I'm such a crier when it comes to his movies. Um, but this is one that I've really been wanting to check out for a while. It stars Taraji P. Henson, and that is Acrimony. Another one too, this was like three bucks, I think. Um, so yeah, I've been really been wanting to check this one out. Storyline sounds pretty cool, so I can't wait to watch that. And then last but not least from Amazon, this is classic too. I need to see about picking up the other two um, in this film series, but this is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. This one too was like three bucks, you guys. Um, so I'm happy to add this to the collection. All right, next up, Facebook Marketplace. You guys, I have been having some fun on Facebook. Um, I've gone a little bit overboard. This is just a couple of the packages. I saw more things on the way, as well from Amazon. I have a, some more things um, that I took advantage of with a buy two, get one. But anywho, Facebook Marketplace, you guys, Facebook groups, all that good stuff. Um, I've just been finding some really cool titles and everything. And I think that Facebook is a really great way to kind of like thrift for movies because, you know, you're not always going to find everything you want at the thrift store and you're not always going to, you know, find things cheap online and stuff. And so, you know, being able to pick up things from like other people through Facebook and stuff, I think it's just a really good way. You can all times find some really cool deals i mean i haven't you know struck gold with an extraordinary deal or anything like that but um you know i've been having some fun just looking around and stuff and you know people post like you know dvds for like anywhere between a dollar to three dollars and blu-rays from two to five you know so it's just a good way if you're really looking for titles for cheap you know and you're willing to pay like the shipping costs obviously and stuff but anywho I have a couple things here. I will say though, you guys, make sure to ask questions because um, I kind of learned the hard way with one of these purchases um, before you buy things and stuff like that. Like don't just assume and um, you know, just ask questions and make sure you're checking things right away when you get them. Even if they are factory sealed, you just, you never know. People can like repackage and whatnot, you know? So, um, but anywho, let's just go ahead and get into this. So this first deal, you guys, it was six Blu-rays for 10 bucks. Like I couldn't pass that up. Three of them I needed. One of them technically is an upgrade. The other three I already had, but I figured, you know what, I can go ahead and maybe flip them or, uh, you know, re-gift them, whatever. But I didn't ask and it didn't really say in the description, like you see a Blu-ray, if it says Blu-ray DVD, you just kind of assume that the Blu-ray and the DVD are gonna be in there. Um, a couple of these actually did not have the dvds with them which is kind of a bummer which would kind of make it a little bit harder to even like flip the item um so i'll probably just end up re-gifting those to somebody but still it was a good deal and i gave the person props on their packaging i had packing peanuts and you know uh bubble wrap it was in a box and then the box was wrapped and taped really really well so uh kudos to them on the packaging um i just you know, I messaged a person I'm like, hey, you know, just make sure 
like you know it's a good deal and everything just make sure next time though that you're putting in the you know like description box like hey dvd not included or whatever like i don't care about digitals i've seen people put you know like digitals not included i've seen people put dvd not included you know thanks for the heads up but um you know so it was a little disappointing this purchase but you know nonetheless it was still a good deal you guys to be honest and so I just know now to make sure I'm asking questions and everything before purchasing. Um, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get into this. Like I said, it was six Blu-rays for 10 bucks. Um, first up is Robots. This one was actually factory sealed, you guys. I just took it off, like I said, to, you know, double check things. Um, this is an upgrade for us. We love this movie. I think it's super cute. Um, so I'm happy to upgrade it and I'm just going to go ahead and combo it out. Um, next up, I did not have this in the collection, and this is American Sniper. Um, and so, like I said, I messaged the person, let them know, you know, about that and everything. Because, like, some of these, like, this one doesn't say that it, you know, included a DVD, which I'm sure maybe it didn't. But you can see there's a space in here for a DVD. But the person said they buy in bulk. So, I mean, it's possible that whoever had this beforehand just happened to, you know, maybe they put a new case on it or something. This is just what they had on hand. Um, Cause it doesn't say obviously that there's a DVD included. So I don't know if at one point there was a DVD with this one or not, but still American Sniper was one I didn't have in the collection. Again, 10 or $10 for six Blu-rays is not a bad deal at all. Um, so I'm happy to actually check this one out. I've heard good things about it. And then this one too, Crazy Stupid Love. I don't know how, I've never seen this one. Like I saw the trailer come up on some movie I was watching the other day and I was like, how in the world have I not seen this one? It totally seems like my kind of movie. Um, so I'm very excited to check this one out. And again, though, like I said, the person, I guess they buy in bulk and they even offered to, um, you know, give me a discount next purchase or whatever. Um, but this one too, the case, it looks like it was maybe supposed to have a DVD, but again, I'm not sure because normally, you know, when the movies say there's a DVD and a Blu-ray, it'll tell you like right here, obviously. But so this one is just the Blu-ray. We have the Hunger Games, which I just recently got from Plotix too. So this one I don't need, but hey, like I said, <laughs> it was part of the deal. Um, and this one, again, this one did not have the uh, DVD in it. It's just the Blu-ray of Big Hero 6, which you'll actually be seeing this again in my uh, next package. Um, so, cause I, my other package I bought before I bought this uh, deal. So <laughs> yeah, uh, now I have two copies, but again, this is just the Blu-ray. So this one, I will probably just end up giving to somebody. Same with Frozen, it's part of the deal, just the Blu-ray. Um, so, but yeah, like you can see, like it said, it'll tell you when it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, it says, but you know, it's just a Blu-ray, unfortunately, but it is what it is. You learn the hard way. And so now I know. All right, so next up, the person I bought from, they had Blu-rays for five bucks, which I think is honestly a good deal. That is like my max that I would pay for a used Blu-ray. I think anything over that, like six is really pushing it. Seven, 10, anything above that is just way too much for a used Blu-ray, you guys. And so I think five is a fair, fair price for a used Blu-ray. Um, but she had them for sale for five bucks a piece. And then it was like, if you bought a certain amount, so she had like different amounts of movies listed and then how many you got free, which technically, you know, she just took off a chunk of money from your total and stuff. But still, I mean, it was like a discount. So, hey, <laughs> anywho, I picked up several things. Uh, I did go ahead and upgrade our Despicable Me to and Despicable Me 3, as well as Minions. So I'm very, very happy to have upgraded those. Um, we already have Despicable Me um, in a Steelbook Blu-ray, um, so we're good there. So just needed these to finish the upgrades. Next up, you guys, uh, <laughs> Avengers, man. Avengers movies, all those superhero, Marvel, DC kind of things, they never, ever go down in price. Anywhere you look, it's all like 20, 25 bucks still. So I was happy to come across Avengers Age of Ultron. And this one actually has a 3D and it's in a red case. It's the first red case I'm adding to my collection. Um, and then Avengers Infinity War upgrades. Just gonna combo them out. Um, actually this one has the, well, I guess I will be keeping the DVD because this is just the Blu-ray and the Blu-ray 3D. But anywho, yes. My son absolutely loves these movies, you guys. So I know he's happy for the upgrades as well. 
Same with uh, Furious 7 upgrade. I actually have the rest of them. Uh, why well, I just say the rest? Because I have eight and six and three on Blu-ray already. So the rest of the other ones that I don't have on Blu-ray are coming soon. Um, but yeah, we have Furious 7. We love the Fast and the Furious franchise. So it's just, they're a lot of fun, you guys. So I definitely need to upgrade. And with the rest that's coming, I'll be done with upgrading there. Happy to add the Wolverine to the collection. Um, you guys know I just recently hauled a couple, or I received a couple of the um, the ones from like X-Men and stuff. I need, I have the first three on DVD, so I need to see about actually upgrading those. And then I still need Logan, and I think there's one more Wolverine movie. And um, I need X-Men Apocalypse, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. But Wolverine this is a fun movie. I haven't seen it in a really long time though. Um, next up, The Box Trolls. We just recently watched this. I think it was like, I wonder, did we watch it? I think we watched it in Prime, maybe? No. I don't even remember when we watched this, but we recently watched it <laughs> and we really enjoyed it. So I picked that one up. This one I have not seen yet. I haven't really heard too many reviews on it, but it's the newer version of Charlie's Angels, the one with Kristen Stewart. Um, I'm kind of curious about this one, though I don't know if it's going to be as good as the original, which I still need to get the original, the first and the second. Um, but yeah, you guys, I wanted to go ahead and check this one out. Like I said, you would be seeing Big Hero 6. This one does have the DVD and the Blu-ray. And this person, all of these discs were in mint condition and everything, you guys. So I was happy about that. This next one, I too have been wanting to add to the collection for a while now, but I just had not found it at a decent price. And that is Inside Out. I'm sure everybody cried with this movie. It's just, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you're missing out. It's a really great movie, you guys. I love the whole concept behind it. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's sad. It's just, it literally has you feeling every which way. <laughs> so um, definitely check it out if you have not. Next up, I upgraded our Moana. Um, this one we have on DVD, but the kiddos trash the cover art. So it's just in a blank case. So I'm just going to go ahead and yeah, you know, I went ahead and upgraded. So yeah. <laughs> Next up, another one that I've really been wanting to check out too. This one has Blake Lively, The Age of Adeline. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, so I'm excited for that one. Then these two are upgrades. We have Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. And then this one's actually a 4K, which I was surprised. A 4K for five bucks. Everybody be trying to resell 4Ks for like a ridiculous amount. Um, but it's Jumanji the next level. So upgrades for us. This one, I read the book as a kid, but I have not seen the movie. And that is A Wrinkle in Time. So I am excited to check this one out. Next up, another one too. Ever since I've seen Plaid X2 haul this one, I've really been wanting to see it. It looks like a really fun watch. A really good cast too in here. Um, and that is a Monster Calls. Couple more here. So this one I saw, so I don't know if this, I think this version may be based on an original version which is the one that I saw that was in Spanish with like Mexican actors and all that stuff. But we have Miss Bala and it has Gina Rodriguez and Anthony Mackie in it, who I absolutely love Anthony Mackie. Um, <laughs> but anywho, yeah, I really enjoyed the version that I saw. I have not seen this version of it, but I'm excited to check it out and see how it compares to the version that I did see. Like I said, the other version was in Spanish and completely different actors and everything. Um, so Miss Bala. And last but not least, we have the uh, live action version of Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson. I sort of kind of watched this, I guess. Um, I don't think I really paid too much attention to the time that I watched it. So I'm gonna need to revisit this one. But I know lots of people like this one. So I'm happy to, you know, revisit it. So that is everything, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.